Okay, brake. Arm under. Thumb. Brake. Arm under. Thumb. It's just like lifting up reverse. It's exactly the same. Steer with the A's. Weight shift to the high side. Side step under the low side. And don't stop forward momentum into the wind. So you gotta keep airspeed going. And don't touch the brakes, obviously, until the glider is up. Do not let go of the A's until the glider's up. Once the glider's up, let go of the A's immediately because if you pull A's with the glider up, you're screwed. Yeah, don't tension your lines. There you go. Arms back, limp. Now, you're going to come straight at me until the glider tells you otherwise. The second that glider turns, because if the wind's coming this way, the glider's going to weather vane that way. You need to run exactly away from your glider. So if it turns behind you, just keep running exactly away from it. Okay, bring it. Go, lift, turn, run, 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 stay perfectly under the glider and fly the direction it's going. Pull brakes, pull brakes, pull brakes, pull them, um, half a step. Perfect. Lean forward, arms back, relax, just like you're doing a reverse. Don't forget to run this time. Don't be brutal, just, you know, a quick rock move. Your legs walk quickly, should we say. Go for it. As soon as the glider comes up, turn and go with it. Bam. And beautiful. Full brakes. Stall the glider. Now, when the glider hits the ground, back up about a half a step. Yep. So the way to know you're centered in your glider, turn your head back and forth, and out of peripheral vision, look for those wing tips, and then just put your body directly mid-center of the glider. Bring it whenever you're ready. And break. Get under it. And bingo. Okay, now normally you would never, ever, ever let the glider come down behind you. You would immediately turn around. Okay, you messed yeah. up that time. You pulled your A's. Mm -hmm. You pulled your A's down and you folded the glider up. Remember, you're only moving A's and in the arc of the glider. So A's have to come up. Make sure you're not pulling A's down. Okay. Your hands are more there to know where the glider is. If you just ran without your hands on the A's, the glider would fly perfectly. So all you're doing is coaxing it gently and then more feeling where it's at. Okay. How's it feel, Austin? Well, this is why you don't train, not on the beach. We have to walk around all over, try and find the wind. For all of how many seconds of practice? Oh, uh, we're up to 10 maybe, 10 seconds? 10 seconds of practice. Yeah. We've been out here for seven minutes. Yep. You don't teach people how to fly by running forward in places. They need to already know how to fly from doing the 10 days of super training at the beach. And then they do a dozen inflations and bam, they get the little reflexes down at the forward and bam, you're done. It's like you either have absolute skill or you shouldn't be in the sky. There's no reason to try and fly an aircraft you don't have control of. Go for it. Run. Big side step under it. Run, 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 run. There you go. Fly the glider where you want. And turn around. You want to maintain about a six, seven mile an hour airspeed. So we have about two mile an hour of wind, which means you need to keep moving at least four or five miles an hour. And you can see once the glider's up and even bringing the glider up, all the skill is already there. The base of skill has been built in from hours and hours and hours and hours of glider control at the beach. And stop, stop. And don't ever pull the lines. Don't pull against the lines. Now, without a motor, it doesn't matter too much, but with a motor, it's important that you can accelerate the weight of you and the motor mm -hmm. before you then have to load the glider. So you don't start at the edge of the lines, you back up and get your body moving so that you've already got the weight of your body and the motor moving before you then have to load the glider. If you're trying to load the glider while you're trying to accelerate your body and the motor, that's just not the most efficient way to do it. Don't walk forwards, just sideways. Yep, aiming straight exactly away from it. The wind is now this way, so he's gonna be launching in a crosswind, but you have to start exactly the way your glider's pointed. As soon as the glider comes up, it's probably gonna turn that way, so you just turn and go right along with it. Arms down, totally relaxed. Lean forward and bring it. Run, lift, 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 lift. And you blew the line. 
You let go of the A's way too soon, and then you pull brake when the glider was behind you. Lift, 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 run. Run, hands up. Keep it, yeah. Loaded, but gentle. Turn left, run left. Turn, run. Turn, run. Hands up, run. Run, hands up, run. So remember, airspeed is your number one. If you don't have airspeed, it don't matter what you do, you're done. As the gliders literally, uh, it's weather veining into the wind. And so it will actually turn and you just keep running the direction the glider's facing and it'll always point you into the wind. Once you have the loading, you can av avoid obstacles from there. But make sure you don't let go of A's until that glider is up or it has enough energy that it's gonna be up. So if it's shooting up really fast, you might let go at like 75 degrees, but only if it's coming up real fast. All right, straight at me till the wind tells you otherwise. Relax those arms, keep the arms backwards, and remember the air speed. If you've got good loading, you can slow down, but if you don't have the loading, you better run your butt off. Bring it straight at me till the glider tells you otherwise. Run, 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 lift, lift, lift the A's. Bing, run, run, keep going. <laughs> Notice he just ran in a half circle because he launched downwind. Then the glider weather veined into the wind and he turned and he went with it. You don't get those reflexes and skills in six seconds of practice. You get it from hours and hours and hours and hours of training at the beach. It's the only way you're gonna get 25 to 60 to 80 hours of practice controlling the glider. I mean, look at that. That's glider control. That's, that is the result of real actual training. Sadly, it doesn't exist outside of super training because it takes a lot of work and it takes the perfect location and it takes an instructor that really knows what the heck they're doing that cares about making sure that you know what you're doing before they let you off as a pilot. So many people out there are money oriented and they're just gonna chuck you in the sky as fast as possible and go, oh, hey, you got in the air, you're a pilot. Yeah, you gotta watch your butt. Look at skills. I mean, look at this, you just did it again. Bam, into the wind, control feel moving gliders loaded hasn't taken a single collapse zero collapses yeah and this is light and variable winds in the mountains of utah who yeah